Hi, my name is Jess and welcome back to my channel. This is finally the wrap up for the Booktubeathon 2018. Um, it was my first Booktubeathon and I think it went rather well for me doing all random picks except for the first few. Um, I don't do TBRs as I've mentioned before. I don't like them because I'm more of a mood reader and if I make a TBR I somehow find ways to avoid doing that. So I'm gonna go over the books that I read. Um, it, I did fairly well. <laughs> all right I'm not sure how I'm gonna edit this later so all except for one were ebooks so I will be listing and showing them somehow around here. Um, I'm not going to tell you much about them because I did go over these novels within my vlog so the vlog is linked up and down below if you want to check it out and to know my thoughts more about them and when my blog is not backlogged for doing my reviews my official reviews for each of these books will be on there too so if they are out um, I'm not sure when you're watching this so if they're out or whatever if you're curious uh, go down below I have the link to all of my social accounts and blogs down there too okay moving forward the first book that I actually read was her stepbrothers are cowboys um, this was my coin toss book and it also has some green in the cover on his shirt um, so it covered those two slots and I gave this novel four stars um, the next one, oh, it was a, it's a paranormal romance, kind of sci-fi as well. Um, it's by Trinity Blanco, and I, it's her typical trope for the Step Brothers series, but I really love it. Okay, going on. Um, the next one is An Amish Wife for Christmas, um, and I don't have any of, I didn't, I wrote down the titles, I did not write down the author's names, I apologize. You'll see them all here and all their information will be down below. Um, An Amish Wife for Christmas, I believe this one was by Patricia Davis, Davins, um, and it is three stars. Uh, is Three stars is what I gave it. Um, and this one had green on the cover as well. I, a lot of these I just read hoping that it would go, but I didn't look ahead. Like I said, no TBR. Okay, so yeah, this one had green on the cover as well, so I got two of them completed at least. Um, next, this one did not complete any of the challenges, um, but I liked it anyways. Um, it is Two Dukes Are Better Than One, and I don't know the author's name, but it is here, here, somewhere on the screen, um, and I gave it five stars. All the information for this one, or all the books are linked down below, so if I don't have my stuff out, go check them out on Amazon. This one, if you like Minaj romances, I definitely recommend this one. It is more the way that I could cope with the um, reading the novel and have it be believable is con thinking of it as a fantasy romance set in a historical setting. But I recommend it five stars, but it did none of the challenges. Uh, the next one that also did none of the challenges was The Reclusive Earl. Um, this one I do remember was by Ruth Ann Nor Norden. Um, it is free on I think Amazon and Smashwords if you're curious to check it out. I gave it 3.5 stars um, and it was a good novel about two people who are kind of at odds of their spectrum coming together. Definitely recommend it if you're into historical fiction or historical romance. Um, that was The Reclusive Earl. Um, the next one is Defending Hayden. This one actually kind of covered, um, I'm going to say it counts, but it's 50-50 if you want to believe that. Uh, Defending Hayden is by, by L.P. Dover, I believe. Um, and it's the one, the challenge that it covered for me was read something uh, from about, read a book about something that you want to do. I do not want to do this anymore, but when I was younger, I really wanted to be a veterinarian. So that's what it's covering for me because the heroine is a veterinarian in this novel. Um, but I gave it 4.5 stars and I definitely recommend it if you're interested in football romances and kind of unique settings. Um, and then the last book that I am still reading and did not finish, I, it's slow going because I'm reading it to my children, but that is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. 
I'm not, I've never read this novel. I've re this is the first book that got me into reading um, for pleasure for the most part. Um, and technically this was my original novel for what I wanted to do um, because I would love to be a witch so I could go like that and my house would be clean. But, or not really a witch, but I wanna have powers. That would be wonderful. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm still still going on this. I am recording my children's thoughts along the way because this is their first read. This is a reread for me. Um, and at some point on my account, you will see a video of all of our thoughts about this novel whenever we finally get through it. Right now we're only on chapter five. So that is it for what I had accomplished on this um, readathon. I plan on putting all my videos on my blog, so if you wanna go check that out, that will be linked down below too. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you have a great day and please like or dislike this video as you see fit and stay tuned and stay here because you never know what's gonna happen next. Take care.